recess at the International School of Beijing. So where are the students? All 1,900 of them banned from going outside because the air is so bad. So bad so often, the school built an enormous dome to scrub out the pollution. The dome cost five million dollars to build and took nine months. It has a soft Teflon coated roof and the entire thing is pressurized all so that these children can play in Beijing. Housing a soccer field and basketball courts, it's their strange reality of growing up in China. It's usually gray outside and sometimes it's like yellow though. Hannah and Emily Merritt know how to recognize a bad air day and why they need the dome. No gunk in your lungs, I guess? Why can't kids play outside? Sure. Um, there are days here in Beijing, and uh, sometimes a string of days here in Beijing, where the air outside is uh, uh, at a hazardous level. Tiny pollution particles threaten health the most, so they seal the air inside and clean it with three giant filters. Monitoring air quality levels twice a day at 25 spots around the school. In the past 10 days alone, the pollution levels outside have been up to 12 times the World Health Organization acceptable rates. Could be dangerous, prolonged exposure, especially as you're exercising out in those elements, uh, has proven to be uh, uh, unhealthy and especially unhealthy for younger children with developing lungs. Hannah and Emily have to wear their face masks when they venture outside. Their dad is a school administrator. We love the school. We love the work environment. We love the education our girls are getting. Um, yeah, probably put um, anywhere else and, and we, we wouldn't hesitate to, to stick around. But after six years in Beijing, he says the air quality has become a deal breaker. So they're moving back to the States. Raising our kids with a lifestyle that, that we think is important to them. It seems that even the extraordinary measures they've taken here aren't always enough. David McKenzie, CNN Beijing.